Welcome to the first Consumer Products Reporting Tool, aka CPRT, module. This module will cover all the information you need to get started with CARP's new and improved survey process. A list of the product categories being surveyed is available on CARB's Consumer Products webpage. We will be collecting information similar to what has been required in past surveys. Contact information for responsible parties and their formulators and or manufacturers. Formulation data for products, descriptive information of the products, and product sales data from the 2023 calendar year. One major difference in this survey is that CARB will now be contacting product formulators on behalf of the responsible party. In the past, product formulators had to be supplied a comma delimited file or CSV of products that needed formulations provided on behalf of the responsible party. This time around, CARB staff will be providing this data and reaching out to product formulators to request the formulations. All information will be kept confidential between the responsible party and product formulators, except for the product name and formula name fields, which are required for formulators to know which formulations to provide. The formulators will use a separate survey tool called the CPRTF, which is detailed separately in the CPRTF modules. In order to guarantee that formulators have enough time to submit formulation data, responsible parties must submit contact information to CARB by January 14, 2025. This includes formulator name, contact name, and email address. If at any point during the survey completion process, you have a question or require assistance, please contact the survey help box at 2023 CP survey at arb.ca.gov. The first step for responsible parties will be to download the CPRT from the Consumer Products webpage. Scroll down and then go to Surveys. Then under Surveys, go to the Consumer and Commercial Products Survey for 2023. Then scroll down to the Consumer Products Reporting tool. This page is also where the instructions, video modules, and a recording of the December 5th webinar can be found. Now go to the Consumer Products Reporting tool and then there's a separate web page where you can download the tool. So the tool will first open up as a file browser. From here you will download to your desktop. Once the CPRT is downloaded, Navigate to it using your computer's folder system. It will be a .xlsm file with no need to extract or unzip anything. It is likely that the CPRT will have been downloaded to your downloads folder. The next step is very important for most responsible parties and is necessary for the CPRT to function. After opening Excel, go to the File tab, then Options, then Trust Center. Then Trust Center Settings. Go to the Macro Settings, then select the option to enable all macros, then click OK. If your Excel software already had macros enabled, you can skip this step. If the Privacy Settings banner is also displayed at the top of the Excel screen, you will also need to unblock the file. You may do this 
by right-clicking the file in File Explorer. Then clicking Properties. And then under the General tab in the Security section, make sure to check the Unblock checkbox. Then press OK. Now that the CPRT is ready, the first thing to do is fill in the responsible party information using the built-in form. This information cannot be entered in manually, and if you wish to make any edits, you will have to use the form as well. This section asks for contact information and information about the company whose products are being reported. Here is an example of what this might look like. It's important to note that we refer to all of the sheets in the CPRT in both the instructions and the modules as pages. One last thing to note is that when you make any changes to the CPRT, the best way to save is by going to the start page and clicking the save button. If you alternatively choose the Save button under File, it could end up not saving the CPRT correctly, so it's best to use the Save button on the Start page. This concludes the Getting Started module. Thank you.